Hey guys, welcome back to Engineering Education. For this next problem, we have a full adder circuit. And here we are given the inputs A, B, and CI. So CI is the carry bit. And we are looking for S, the sum, and CO, the carry out bit. So A, B, C, CI is equal to 1, 1, 0. What is S, C, O? So, as always, pause the video, give it a shot, and we'll go over the answer in a bit. So, to go ahead and solve this problem, we have to go to our FE handbook. And here, we have the XOR truth table. So, we've worked a lot with the AND gates. Um, I think this may be the first time we're seeing an OR gate in these this series of videos. So, here we got the, the truth table for all of them. This is on page 213 of the FE handbook. And we're, we're going to copy this, this truth table for the XOR gate um, on the um, uh, next to the circuit here. So going back to the circuit, like I said, we're going to draw out the truth table for the XOR gate so we can have it handy. We'll call it A, B, and I don't know, output Y. like so, where this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And we saw that it is a 1 whenever A and B are not the same. So this is 0, 1, 1, 0. So now we can just plug in these values here. So we have that A is 1, we have that B is 1, and that and we have C in is 0. And let's see, okay, so because A is 1, we have 1 on the input of this XOR gate. Uh, we also have a 1 on this AND gate here on the bottom. B is also 1, so this XOR gate will be 1. And the AND gate will also be 1. And let's see, CI is 0. So it would be a 0 here and a 0 here. OK. And going back to the top, the XOR gate for input A and B, the very top one there, the first one. Since you have both of them equal to 1, looking at our truth table here on the right, the output is going to be 0. So now we have 0 here and 0 here. Going to the first AND gate, you have both 1s. So the output's going to be a 1, meaning we have an out, uh, a 1 here on this OR gate. And now going to the second XOR gate, we have two zeros, which is, looking at our chart here, again, 0. So S is equal to 0. And we have two, uh, two zeros on the AND gate input. So 0 and 0 is 0. And lastly, we have an OR gate. Um, so the OR gate is going to be 1 whenever any of the inputs is 1. So that is a 1. So from this here, we have that SCO is equal to 0, 1. So what does this mean? Um, so to give you some intuition on it, let's erase this, uh, this XOR truth table here. OK. And so this is an, an adder, right? So it's supposed to add inputs A and B. And it's supposed to output it as S. So S equals A plus B. And here we have that A is 1 and B is 1. So 1 plus 1 in binary is 10. And I mean, it, it seems a little strange at first to have 1 plus 1 is equal to 10. But that is what this, this, uh, this output carry is for. 
it carries over v1. So to really give you guys an intuition for this, we can do an example here. So let's say, so in, in, in decimal, we have, for instance, um, 4 base 10 plus 4 base 10 is 8 base 10, right? So we just add them together. But what about when we have 5 base 10 plus 5 base 10? Now what we do is we put a 0 down, and then we carry over a 1 and end up with uh, 10 base 10. And we're so used to doing that, it just comes natural to us. It's very intuitive. Now, same thing with the binary addition, right? So you have, let's say, 1 base 2 plus 0 base 2. So 1 plus 0, just add them vertically. It's going to be 1 base 2. And when you have, let's say, 1 base 2 plus 1 base 2, you do the same thing. Um, you've ran out of digits, and so you go put the 0 down, and then you carry over a 1. Like so. So here, we on the bottom here, we had, um, in binary, we only have two digits, 0 and 1. And so... When we go to add 1 plus 1, intuitively it's 2, but we don't have 2 um, in binary. We only have two options to choose from 0 or 1, so we, we exceeded our, our, our set of numbers. And same with the natural numbers here, which go from 0 to 9. And so when we added 5 plus 5, it's 10, uh, so we exceeded our... Um, our nine digits or our, our 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 ten digits already, so we had to carry over an extra one. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, you can take this full adder circuit and put them. You can cascade them um, so that the um, the output uh, carry goes into the input carry of another full adder. And you can keep carrying this one over and over and over. So um, you can add larger and larger numbers depending on how many full adder circuits you, you cascade together. So I hope that helps. Um, if you found this, um, this helpful, please leave me a comment below. And until then, enjoy engineering.